Well, go on, well, go on, what's great? Sheffield John Morris again, man. And right now, it's almost 1 a.m. You know what I say? Just came from the gym, need some quick and easy food. So I said, okay, coconut, curry, jerk salmon. If this salmon is something you're interested in, stay tuned and make me show you how to deal with that salmon. They're really sweet. Me know about sardines, mackerel, bully beef, chicken foot, chicken neck, chicken back. Nothing I waste, nothing I dash way. So the first thing are we have some sweet pepper, some carrot, and onion. Alright? Those are the main ingredients that we're gonna be using. And of course, I have your salmon. It was in the fridge, so I know. Before I get to that salmon, I'm gonna prep my veg. Then I have here a nice cut of salmon. It's gonna squeeze some lemon juice on there. I already washed it. Let's put a little lemon juice on here. Rub that in. For my current subscribers, you may know that I make a lot of my seasons. I also make my own jerk marinade, right? You can check that video out at your convenience. And I also make my own all-purpose seasoning now if you don't have these don't worry you can always use salt and pepper right but I find the all-purpose seasoning has that garlic that onion and the paprika to give me that color that I'm looking for I'm using my jerk seasoning here because I don't have any scotch body pepper and I want a bit of spice in here now the jerk seasoning also provides a distinct taste because it also has the fresh onion the garlic the um, pimento and all of those good stuff compact in here, right? So we need that nice spiciness plus that little jerk taste with that um, coconut sauce, right? I'm gonna hit that salmon with a little bit of black pepper on both sides, like quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna go in with some all-purpose seasoning. Just a little bit on here, not too much. Flip that over, repeat. So for all-purpose seasoning, I'm using about a teaspoon in total now you can use your regular salt and pepper as I stated for this and I'm gonna go in with my jerk marinade just gonna show you what that looks like look at that marinade beautiful one teaspoon of that will suffice on here half on here I will just rub that in this will provide not just flavor but a hint of spice, you know what I say? Flip that over and the other half goes on here. Let me get personal with this salmon. Yo, this smells so good. Alright, this is what our salmon looks like beautifully seasoned we're gonna allow the salmon to marinate while we work on sauteing off our vegetables okay so our pan is heating up nicely we're gonna heat that with about a tablespoon of oil nothing too much we're gonna go in now with our onion Saute this onion off until translucent for about a minute. Alright, our onions are there. We're gonna hit that with our carrots. So we're gonna start to season now. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add the remainder of our 
bell peppers you realize we don't have a lot of oil in there because we don't want this to be greasy so we season it at this point to start developing flavors so at this next step I didn't realize my camera battery had died but I only put a teaspoon of curry powder to my vegetables and I allowed that to cook for about a minute and a half just to cook that curry out and burn it up before adding in my liquid all right now that's burnt off we're gonna go in with half cup of chicken stock and you know everything I make here a half cup of chicken stock heat on medium just gonna allow that to come to a boil all right now that has come to a boil gonna go in with about three tablespoons of coconut milk or you'd say coconut cream here we go if you have fresh thyme you can use it i only have dry thyme so i'm going to sprinkle a bit of dry thyme to that about a half teaspoon and remember don't worry about the scotch bonnet pepper right give that a stir because that's where the jerk comes in so we're just going to cover this and allow it to simmer for about five minutes Right, beautiful. There we go. See that color, how amazing that looks. Gonna try this now, see what it tastes like. Beautiful. The only thing that's missing, somebody comment that in the comment section. Tell me what's missing. Or jerk salmon right in the center like that so what you want to do now five minutes set your timer for five minutes and we're just gonna cook this get a bit of that sauce and vegetables on top So this way the vegetable won't uh, overcook. Set your timers my people for five minutes and behold the jerk coconut steam salmon. So you're enjoying this video right let me just stop this video real quick to tell you guys this if you're a subscriber or if you're not yet a subscriber once you have subscribed do not forget to hit that bell icon just to stay notified as soon as we drop them heat remember we have the heat but you guys are the gas see and in order to have this heat blazing even higher you got to hit that bell notification yeah man I hit hit the bell notification to stay up to date with each and every fire when we drop them hot setting gonna scoop that out beautiful slide that right there beauty beautiful Ease. Nicely thick reduced jerk coconut sauce. Let's tap that off to make things look a bit more vibrant. You can have this with quinoa or rice, but who doesn't have curry with rice? best combination yet and we're gonna go in right there Just 
sprinkle a bit of green onion for extra crunch beautiful and this my friends is a quick and delicious meal after the gym now is the time of truth when we break into that salmon to see how nicely cooked it is beautiful you still have that hint of pink beautiful five minutes my people not even thank you god for the hands that prepare this food thank you for providing this food let's dig in spicy from the jerk and as I told you earlier I do most of my stuff and have them in the fridge my chicken stock I make my own chicken stock you can buy it if you want to or you can watch my videos to learn how to I make my own jerk marinade you can buy it if you want to or you can watch my videos to learn how to and my own all-purpose seasoning just the same so let me know if you enjoy this video and salmon is a fish like this where you don't have to overcook it don't overcook it salmon needs nothing more than four and a half to five minutes at most you know what i'm saying you should be able to see that nice pink on the inside so it's not dry and hard to chew mm -mm. you have the green onions i like to garnish with green onion because give me a little crunch factor and a bit of freshness when i'm eating my food and if you're wondering why is the lemon here, you can use the lemon to sprinkle over your fish. You see me? Seafood, when you're eating seafood, a bit of lemon juice, and it also helps to keep down that odor of the fish smell if you're out at a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Perfect garnish for seafood. Nice and spicy. Perfect after the gym here for me. Comment below and let me know if curry after have spice, yes or no. Let me know that. So when people say no spice and them curry, what you say? Mm -mm. That gravy reduced so well, Bridget. The gravy just reduced perfect enough. Not too much gravy, not too little. And that rice just absorb everything. Everything it absorbs. Yo, you can't eat curry nothing else but rice. And it has to be white rice. Let's be honest. You see me? Shaf your bottle of water Spicy And I don't love juice Water my thing there You see? Jaja No yeah, man She may have cook I'm still there in the kitchen Wow Place too hot man Place hot B I have a few more Salmon videos on here. I have a coconut steamed salmon on the channel as well. A honey mustard salmon. That one is sick. Check out that one. And um, I have a few more salmon ideas up my sleeve. You don't have to just grill the salmon and be boring with it. You know what I'm saying? The salmon is so versatile and it tastes good either way. So I'm going to be showing you a few more salmon recipes that you can try out at home. You see me? There's not much left to my plate. Hope you can see it. So, I'm just gonna mash up the rest of it. And once again, you know, big up the people, man. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new here, hit subscribe, click the bell to stay notified. If you're not far from, or if not, still, thank you very much for watching, isn't it? Because every view counts. And when you give this video a thumbs up, this means it can stretch across the world so other people can know how to deal with them someone. So, give the video a thumbs up, make the thing rotate. Share the thing to your Facebook page, to your friend, your family, and say, yo, Maris time cooking. You see me? Enough love for the love, you know. And I hope you and yours are doing well. Until next time, see if you're going to and go and make up on yourself. See you another dinner for later. I know you're fast, girl, you'll have to tell me. Because I'm any, any man can feed you. So that's why you always take me to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah.